Hey everybody, this is Paul. Welcome back. In this tutorial, I'm going to be talking about in-order traversals and how they apply to a binary search tree. So I know many of you guys are wanting me to go ahead and get ready to write some code, and I'm going to be starting the code for this project in the next video. But before I start writing the code, I wanted to cover the topic of an in-order traversal. In our project, I'm going to create a print function that uses an in-order traversal to print the contents of our binary search tree. Why would I do that? Well, the cool thing about an in-order traversal in combination with the properties of a binary search tree is if we implement an in-order traversal and we implement our binary search tree correctly, the result that we'll get is we'll have a way to process the nodes in our tree in order of lowest key all the way up to highest key. So, for example, if we were to implement an in-order traversal on a binary search tree in a print function, what we would end up getting is, if we print the keys is we would get the keys starting at 2, then 3, then 4, and all the way up till we get to the highest key, which is 100. So how exactly does that work? Well, the steps of an in-order traversal are really simple. There's three steps that you apply to each node, starting at the root node. The first step is you simply go left you traverse down that node's left pointer, assuming that that node has a left child. The next step when we're looking at a node is we process the current node. So in terms of a print function, processing the current node is simply going to be printing the key value to the screen. And then the third step we perform on every node is we simply traverse down our node's right pointer to its right child, assuming that it has a right child. So rather than explaining this anymore, let's just go ahead and illustrate it in our diagram here, and I'll show you how this works. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a print function that uses an in-order traversal to print the key values inside of our binary search tree from lowest to highest key. So the first thing we wanna do is we wanna start at our root, and we're going to apply step one to our root. So step one just tells us go left. So let's go ahead and put a little mark here showing that we're applying step one. And then step one tells us to go left. So we're just going to draw an arrow here indicating that we have moved to our root node's left child. So now we're on node 21. So node 21, we go to this list and we do task one, go left. So we will go ahead and put a dot here showing that we have completed task one and then we'll draw an arrow showing that task one has sent us to node four. Now that we're at node four, we go to task one, which is go left. So let's go ahead and put a dot here showing that we are performing task one, and task one tells us to traverse down node four's left pointer. So now we are at node four's left child, and node four's left child would be node two. So we're going to attempt to go left, but node two does not have a left child. So we'll just go ahead and put a dot here showing that we have attempted to go left, but we're not going to because node two does not have a left child. So we're still at node two, and then we look at the next step on the list. The next step for node two is we're going to do step two, process current node. So in the case of a print function, we're simply going to print the key value. So I'll go ahead and put a dot here showing that we have completed process two, and then here we will do the output of process two, which is print the key value of the node. So we're still on node two, and the next step says go right. So let's go ahead and put a little dot here, showing that we have completed steps one, two, and three on this node. And the third step said to go right, so we're going to traverse down node two's right pointer, which brings us to node three. So I went ahead and erased all the pointers that point to null off of all the leaf children here, but 3, 14, 32, 52, 70, 80, and 87, both pointers in all of those nodes point to null. So 3, 14, 32, 52, 70, 80, and 87 do not have children. So when we attempt to do step one and step three for those leaf nodes, we're simply just going to put a dot marking that we've attempted to do those two steps, but those steps aren't going to send us to another node. So here we are at node three. The first step we need to do is go left. We can't go left, but we're going to attempt to. So we're going to check to see if we can go left and we realize we can't. So we're just going to put a mark here showing that we tried to do step one. 
And then we process the current node, which means we're going to print the key value. So I'll just put that down here. We're going to print key three, and we'll put a mark there showing that we've done step two. And then the final step on this node is go right. Well, we can't go right because node three does not have a right child. So we'll simply put a dot here showing that we have done steps one, two, and three on node three. I wanna point out that every time we do step one or step three, what we're doing is we're going to traverse down the left or the right pointer using recursion. So once we have attempted to do step three here, that process is completed, and so we're going to fall back to the process that originally called the recursive process that sent us to three. So now we're back at two. Two has steps one, two, and three completed, so we fall back to four. In four, we've only completed step one. So for node four, we're going to go down to step two, which is process current node. So we're going to print out the current node, which has a key value of four, and we'll put a dot there showing that we have done the second step of our in-order traversal. So now that we've completed the process current node step on node four, we're going to go to step three, which is go right. So let's put a dot here showing that we're doing step three, and then we'll draw an arrow showing that we are traversing to node four's right child. So that brings us to node 15, and we start at the top, go left. So let's go ahead and put a dot here. We're completing step one on node 15. So we're going to traverse left down to node 14. So node 14, we're going to attempt to go left, but node 14 doesn't have a left child. So we'll just put a dot here showing that we tried to do step one. Step two is going to tell us to process the current node. So we'll just go ahead and put 14 here. And then step three, we're going to attempt to go right, but we can't because 14 doesn't have a right child. So now we've completed steps one, two, and three. We fall back to node 15. So node 15, we've completed step one. So now we're on step two, which is process current node. So processing this node, we're going to write 15 right here. And we'll go ahead and mark that we've done step two. And then we'll attempt to do step three, but node 15 doesn't have a right child. So we simply just mark that and then we fall back. Node four has completed all three steps. We fall back to 21. 21 has completed the first step. So we go to step two to process the current node. Let's put a mark here. We're processing node 21. So we'll go ahead and write 21 here to show that we've processed it. And then the third step for 21 is to go right. So let's go ahead and mark that we've, we're going right here. So looking at node 32 now, we're going to attempt to go left. So we'll go ahead and put a mark here, but we can't because 32 does not have a left child. We're going to process it's the current node, which is step two. We'll just go ahead and write 32 for processing that node. And then the third step is we're going to attempt to go right, but we can't because 32 doesn't have a right child. So now we've completed steps one, two, and three on that node. We're going to fall back. 21 has completed all three steps, so we fall back one more time. That brings us to our root node once again. We've completed step one, so now we are on step two, process the current node. Let's put a mark for that step, and then we'll process it here, putting node 50 down. And then we go ahead and go to step three, which is go right. So we're going to traverse down 50's right pointer to node 76. Step one for 76 is we go left. We'll just go ahead and put a dot here for the, for the first step. And then we go ahead and go left. And then 64, we go ahead and do that first step again. We go left. So we'll put a dot here showing that we're going left. And then we'll go ahead and put an arrow there showing we have made that transition. So now we're on node 52. We're going to attempt to go left, but we can't because node 52 does not have a left child. So we'll go ahead and mark that we tried. We're going to process node 52. So we're going to process it by putting 52 down here, and we'll go ahead and put that dot here showing that we've done step two now. We're going to attempt step three, which is go right, but 52 does not have a right child, so we just put a dot here showing that we've attempted to do step three. Now we've completed steps one, two, three. We fall back to 64, who has completed step one, but needs to do step two, which is process the current node. So we've completed step one, so we're on step two now. So processing the current node of 64, we'll go ahead and put a dot there for processing that node. And then we'll 
put 64 down here. So then the next step is go right. So let's put a dot here showing that we're doing step three. And then we're just going to traverse to 64's right child, which is 70. We're going to attempt to go left, but 70 doesn't have a left child. We're going to process current node. So we'll put this dot here for attempting to go left. We'll put this dot here for processing the current node. And then we'll go ahead and process that node by putting a 70 here. And then step three, we're going to attempt to go right, but we can't because there's no right child here. So now we've done steps one, two, and three. We fall back to its parent. Steps one, two, and three are complete. Fall back again. 76 has only completed step one. So now we go back to process current node. So process current node, we'll put a dot right there. And then we'll write 76 to show that we've processed that node. And then we're going to do step three now, go right. So let's put another dot here, showing that we're gonna go right now. So here we are traversing down 76's right pointer to node 100. So starting at step one, go left. We'll go ahead and put a dot here and an arrow showing that we are traversing down the left pointer now. At node 83, we're going to go left. We're going to put a dot right there, showing that we're doing step one. And then we'll go ahead and put a little arrow here, showing that we are traversing down 83's left pointer to its child of 80. 80 is going to attempt to go left, and then it will process the current node. So that's step one. Step two is process the current node, which is 80. And then it will attempt to go right, but it can't because node 80 does not have a right child. So we'll go ahead and put a dot there, showing that we attempted to do step 3. We fall back to 83, which has completed step 1. Now it needs to go to step 2, process current node. So we'll put a mark there for processing node 83. And then we'll write an 83 down here to show that we've processed it. The third step is go right now. So we're going to traverse down 83's right pointer to node 87, where we will attempt to go left, but we won't be able to because 87 does not have a left child. We'll put a mark for trying step one. We're going to process node 87. So we'll put a second mark here, and then we'll write 87, showing that we have processed that node. And then we will attempt to go right. So we'll put a dot there for step three. We fall back to its parent, who has completed all three steps. We fall back to its parent, which is node 100, who has completed the first step, bringing us to step two in the process, process current node. So we'll go ahead and put a mark there. And then we'll go ahead and write 100 here, showing that we have processed that node. And then the last thing to do is to go to step three for node 100, which is go right. Well, that's just pointing to null, so that's not going to send us anywhere. So we'll just go ahead and mark that. And then what we would do is we would simply fall back and then all three steps have been completed. We fall back, all three steps have been completed. And at that point, all of our processes are finished. So as you can see here, following this simple in order traversal process has allowed us to extract the key values from our binary search tree in order from lowest to highest. So this only works because we set up our binary search tree correctly and because we did an in-order traversal. If we had implemented our binary search tree wrong, then these values might be a little bit mixed up. But assuming that we follow the less than greater than property for every node in a binary search tree, and then we do our in-order traversal correctly, the order in which we process the nodes in our binary search tree will always be from lowest to highest key. So anyway, I just wanted to explain this in order traversal process to you guys before I went ahead and started writing code about it. So hopefully you uh, found this tutorial helpful and uh, look forward to going ahead and writing some code in the next few tutorials. So stay tuned for that. We'll see you guys then. Have an excellent day. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe.